flammable piece of wood is. It's not elm, it's not oak, it's not redwood, it's not pine. It's the chips on your shoulder. And I got all these explosive chips on my shoulder. And she starts telling me, you gotta start flicking this stuff off. You gotta let go and grow. You gotta be better, not bitter. And she goes, Derek, I want you to feel some love. She goes, everybody come here. And by this time, my eyes had started sweating. <laughs> Cause I never cried. Now I cry like watching Meet Nemo or Meet the Robinsons or Finding Nemo and all this stuff, but I'm a crybaby now. Everybody starts coming up. She goes, I want you to feel their love. And I'm like pushing people off. Get off me, get off me. And all these people are trying to give me a group hug. And she goes, let their love in. And I push off and I'm like, I don't need love. I don't need love. I don't need no love. And I'm screaming, I don't need love. But it's interesting. The ones who need the most love will ask for it in the most unloving of ways. I needed love but my walls were going up and a guy comes from behind and grabs me and he's holding me and he, I'm cussing at him and he's riding me like a rodeo bull. And another guy shoots in, I'm sandwiched in between these two guys. And then those 14 people shoot in and I got 16 people holding me as they're riding my little wave as I'm screaming and cussing. And then ladies and gentlemen, I fell to the ground and I sobbed like a baby for like two and a half hours like a baby because I had to be so tough. I couldn't even be a kid. You know, I didn't grow up on love. I grew up on survival. I don't even know what love is when I came in these foster homes. I thought love is you abuse me. That's how I get the attention. I didn't grow up the traditional way with affection and love. I grew up on survival. And during this whole time, she's telling me this one thing, Derek, it was never your fault. It was your parents. They were out of control. But if this is your life, zero to 100, are you gonna let the first 18 years of your life control the next 80, 90 years of your life? This part of your life is gonna control this. And it was like during a good, ugly cry, like clarity comes and out of that ugly cry comes desperation and out of that desperation sometimes for us comes inspiration to change our life.